who's been on the show many times. It's all kinds of free publicity whenever he does anything. I love Kinky, but I don't want him anywhere near the governor's mansion. Uh, then we also have, uh, of course, old Rick. Remember when Rick put that jacket on and went down to guard the border? Is he was that anymore? something or what? Oh, yeah. Is he? No, I don't oh, know. Okay. And, and yeah. is it, uh, uh, well, no, he's being challenged by. Oh, uh, that's right. The likes of Kay Bailey Hutchison. That's right. And Deborah Medina. And there's a Deborah there's Medina. A, there's a name you don't hear a lot of. Never heard that one much. Morning, Deborah. Good morning, guys. So you're a candidate for governor of the state of Texas? I am. Well, you you, you never get mentioned. Yeah, you don't get fighting the establishment, <laughs> defending Texas. Well, you, you, you sound like a, a, a good conservative <laughs> woman. You sound like one of these people that don't want to tax the rich. Well, in fact, we issued a, a call to arms or a call to action yesterday, if you will, um, calling on Governor Perry to call a special session. Thomas Jefferson said it is the unquestionable right of the state to decide when the federal government steps outside the Constitution and to nullify those actions. We need to nullify phase one and phase two of the nationalized health care plan. You were talking to Dr. Janda about some things that have already happened there. Texas needs to have a special session and nullify that law. So are, you in, not are you in favor of a enumer enumerated powers act, which will, uh, that, uh, our old buddy, uh, Dr. Paul, Ron Paul, wants an enumerated powers act where Congress has to justify every action or bill they pass that it passes the constitutional test. Well, yeah, I mean, we kind of have that already, don't we? It's called the Constitution. <laughs> yeah, but they're ignoring they that. They're, to uphold that. They're ignoring that when he said, well, how about an enumerated powers act, which says if you pass a bill, you have to first check off in a box to see what. Yet we checked, and that's within our powers under the Constitution. It is within our powers, sure. Um, we have got, I think all of us are beginning to recognize the importance of following that blueprint, you know, it's. It's given us the most prosperous, freest nation ever on the face of the earth, and yet we ignore the blueprint day in and day out, or they ignore it. I think yeah. we're recognizing that we ought to be following the guide, we and we really need to nullify that here in Texas. We've had a couple of, y'all have been talking as well about the Fort Hood tragedy. You know, our founders understood that the whole people would be armed. When are we going to realize that no amount of military presence, no amount of police presence is going to protect us from one deranged individual intent on doing harm? When we are armed and skilled in the use of those arms, we will be best protected. Guess who I'm voting for? <laughs> we you done won my vote, girl. Uh, the police are great for coming and investigating and finding out after a crime happens, but they're really not great at preventing crime. Right, now, we don't want to dog that police officer. That was a police officer who ended it in Fort Hood. Sure did. So that she, was, she and a lady uh, uh, ended it, too. Yep. So yeah, they're not, they're great after a crime because they come and invent, but they're really not going to be there for you to prevent that crime. Well, Ms. Medina, you know we have a lot of registered voters in the state of Texas listening right now. Is uh, who who is it that you see as your main competition? Who do we have to to beat here for you? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear the question. Who, who's your main competition in this election? Well, clearly, I'm running as a Republican, so I am fighting Kay Perry and Rick Hutchison. Um, <laughs> Kay Perry and Rick Hutchison. I like we, we are um, recognizing the need to have a governor that's going to defend Texas. Rick has clearly aligned himself with international business interests. He wants to sell off big chunks of this state for a highway project. Kay is bailing out bankers on Wall Street, has international business interests. They both seem to have a lot of friends in the one world government clan. Oh uh, some of us are very interested in Texas sovereignty and in United States sovereignty and in protecting that. We're recognizing in this campaign that private property ownership and gun ownership are essential elements of freedom, pushing real hard to eliminate property tax in Texas so that we own our property standing on state sovereignty using nullification to push back the federal government to the constitution or hold it to the constitution how are we gonna how are we as the people gonna stop you radicals that want to go back to the constitution yeah really well you're not we are we as a people are standing up and taking back our country and we're going to take back the great state of texas Rick talks the talk but he clearly does not walk the walk 
lots of examples of that. Um, so securing private property, nullifying federal overreach, and securing and, and fortifying our border. I have to um, say big initiative that for this campaign. I have to say that Rick has probably ruined the chances of any other Aggie cheerleader ever becoming governor again. I believe that's true, and I think that Republicans know that across the grassroots. I'm concerned that the Republican leadership hasn't gotten to that conclusion yet. I think in some ways they would like to see the incumbent put up again as the nominee, I believe. All right, we're short on, we're short on time. What is it? I, I, you got one more question for I have uh, a question. Are from, you a lawyer? No, I'm a registered nurse. Oh, so beautiful. Thank you. Uh, no was all I needed to hear. We need, we need to get lawyers out of the government. That's for sure. Thank you, uh, Deborah Medina, running for governor. Well, uh, it's it's good to hear from you. It's it's good because you don't get acknowledged by the. Uh, re- and by the way, just for the record, we always ask uh, Governor Perry if he wants to come on the show. He's refused about a hundred times, and Kay Bailey's not a big frequent caller either. So Wait, though, when it gets closer, oh yeah, oh Kinky's going to be here. Oh Kinky, he'll, he'll be up he'll here. He'll demand equal time. We will often tell Kinky, we, Kinky, we love you, but we ain't voting for you. That's for sure. Thank you, uh, Deborah. Well, when he, was, Medina, when, running when he was for, running uh, before, governor. he was running as an independent. Now yes. he's just going to admit it. Uh, Democrat. Well, so he's running for, he's like Deborah, he's trying to get the uh, nomination. Yeah. As always, if you're running for a big, important office, your first stop is the Walton and Johnson Show. <laughs>